Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. So, tatalakayin natin ngayon yung napapanahon at kailangan natin during this pandemic. Kailan nga ba valid yung paniningil ng interest ng utang? Or ano yung effect ng mataas na interest dun sa contract of loan? And dito, sasagutin din natin yung remedy ng kautang kung yung interest na ipinataw is sobrang taas and it's already hemorrhaging their assets at hindi na nakakaahon yung taong nakautang. According sa isang case na nakaabot sa Supreme Court, the amount paid as interest under usurious agreement is recoverable by the debtor since the payment has deemed to have been made under restraint rather than voluntarily. So, aalamin natin dito kung bakit sinabi ng court na pwedeng i-recover ng nakautang yung mga ibinayad niyang interest. So dati guys, meron tayong usury law na ki-implement ng kung ilan lang yung maximum na interest dapat sa pautang. But this law has been suspended by Central Bank Circular. Wala nang ceiling dun sa interest rates ng loans. So, ibig sabihin, pwede nang mag-stipulate or mag-agree yung both parties kung magkano yung gusto nilang interest dun sa contract of loan. Pero yung pag-lift ng usury law is not a grant para sa mga nagpapautang na erase yung interest rate up to certain level na kung saan na-enslave na yung nagkautang or it may lead to hemorrhaging the assets of the borrowers. So, ibig sabihin, hindi na nakakaahon yung borrower because of the high interest rate. Let's go, guys! So, yung unang katanungan natin is, kailan pwedeng maningil ng interest papautang? So, according sa Article 1956 ng ating new civil code, No interest shall be due unless it has been expressly stipulated in writing. Pag may inutangan ka at verbally nag-agree kayo na ang interest nung pautang is 10% a month, would that be valid? Pwede mo bang hindi bayaran yung interest nung inutang mo? Well, in order for the creditor to validly collect, an interest, it must be expressly stipulated in writing. So, hindi pwede yung nag-usap lang kayo, hindi nakalagay sa written instrument, at hindi rin na-express doon na ito yung interest sa pautang. Pero, ibig pang sabihin noon na hindi na makakakolekta ng interest yung nagpautang, paano naman kung hindi na talaga nagbabayad yung umutang? So, ang sabi ng Article 2209, If the obligation consists in the payment of a sum of money and the debtor incurs in delay, the indemnity for damages, there being no stipulation to the contrary, shall be the payment of the interest agreed upon and in the absence of stipulation, the legal interest which is 6% per annum. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Kapag yung pera or kapag yung obligation mo is the payment or umutang ka ng pera and yung debtor or yung nagkautang nag-incur na ng delay dun sa pinag-usapan yung petsa ng pagbabayad. Although wala kayong stipulation or hindi kayo nag-usap or hindi nyo pinag-usapan kung may interest ba ito or wala, Kapag nag-demand na or na-reach na nung umutang yung due date at nag-demand na sa'yo yung creditor mo or yung nagpautang, ibig sabihin, may delay na don sa pag-fulfill ng obligation. And kahit wala kayong stipulation don sa utang, pwedeng magpataw ng interest to indemnify don sa damage na hindi nabayaran agad yung utang. 
So, nagkaroon ng damage ngayon dun sa part nung nagpautang. Ang pwedeng ipataw ng court dito is 6% interest per year. And this is to indemnify for the damages na na-incur nung creditor dahil sa delay na ginawa ng debtor. So, yung unpaid interest Pwede nga ba siyang mag-earn ulit ng interest? Ang sabi naman ng Article 22.12, The interest due shall earn legal interest from the time it is judicially demanded, although the obligation may be silent upon this point. So, ibig sabihin guys, kapag nakapagsampana ng collection case yung uh, nagpautang, Ibig sabihin, he has judicially demanded for the payment of the money. Then, yung, la yung interest na hindi binayaran ng uh, debtor shall also earn another legal interest, which is 6% per year. Paano naman kung hindi judicially uh, demanded? And may usapan yung dalawang parties na yung interest na hindi nabayaran is magkakaroon din ng interest. Ano yung sinasabi ng batas natin dito? So, according to Article 1959, Without prejudice, the interest due and unpaid shall not earn interest. So, yung general rule natin, kapag may mga hindi nabayarang interest, hindi na ito mag earn pa ng interest unless yung mga interest na hindi nabayaran nung time na nagdamanda na yung creditor. However, pwede mag-stipulate yung dalawang parties. Pwede silang mag-agree na kapag may unpaid interest, yung interest na yon ay maidadagdag doon sa principal na utang. And out of those total, mag-earn siya ng new interest. So, sinabi natin kanina guys na pwedeng mag-agree yung parties up to what interest rate shall apply dun sa kanilang loan agreement. Hindi ito way para mang abuso sa kapwa. Ang sinasabi natin dito is kapag yung Uh, interest rate na ipinataw na is sobrang taas na hindi na nakakabayad yung uh, debtor, then the court may equitably reduce said interest rate. Kailangan nating erase ito sa court mismo. So, the court will examine kung ano nga ba itong uh, written agreement nyo. Yung, for example, 7% a month or 10% a month compared to 6% legal interest in one year. So, makikita dito ng court na sobra-sobra yung uh, pagpataw ng interest rate. And pwede itong babaan ng court. So, ang uh, dapat lang sa debtor is kinakailangang erase ito sa court. Otherwise, you have waived your right already and whatever is stipulated in your contract will be the law between the parties or pwede ring i-take down ng court yung stipulation nyo or yung agreement nyo dun sa usurious interest so pag sinabi ng court that the uh, interest rate is usurious they might just take it down But it will not invalidate yung paniningil doon sa principal na utang. So guys, um, I hope na explain natin in a very simple manner kung paano yung regulation ng paniningil ng interest. Um, if you have further questions, please uh, comment below. Um, kung hindi ko man nasasagot agad yung mga comments nyo, I'll make sure naman that I'm able to cover it um, on my next videos. Maraming salamat guys and God bless everyone.